There we go. That's the right button this time. Hello, everyone. Give me just a moment. Don't like my hair being in my ear. I'm Katana, the lightning cat. Why the fuck am I whispering? Alright. Never mind that. I'm watching... Uh, Uncivilized Elk's video, The Meaning of Finn's Journey in the Hall of Egress. And that bit on screen, I'll show you again. The smallest transition of great abundance is at the center of everything. That bit... Hang on. There we go. Hold still, camera phone. Just, just hold still, don't move. That bit sparked a revelation of sorts in my mind. I don't know if everyone's ready for a philosophical approach to things. Some people may be, some people may not be. For those of you who are ready, I hope you get to see this video. Also, I do recommend going and watching uh, Civilized Elks video. That's... That's good. It's deep. Intellectual. Spiritual, not religious, spiritual. There's a big difference there. Now for me... Fuck off, train! I don't want none of ya! I swear, I'm not timing it for that thing to come through as soon as I start a video. <sighs> Very well. Come through, lay down your tracks and leaf. Anyway, for me, the bit leading up to that text I showed you on the screen, uh, for the, what was it, 30 some odd seconds, maybe a minute, leading up to it, yes, yes, thank you for tooting your own horn. I'd get a few more words in edgewise. Thank you very much. Yeah, fuck off, train. I don't care. Fuck off. Stop tooting the horn, conductor. We know you're coming through. Fuck you! <sighs> okay. For me, it just... It clicked into place because I've been struggling with uh, some of my own baggage some of my own egress as it were I've got a, a slightly skewed off angle of approach to viewing the uh, the bits in the in the video there Some of you may recognize what, what I'm going to say. For those of you who do, please share it with those who don't in the comments down below. Thank you very much. I'm lazy. And, you know, if you want to make a video on it, you, you go ahead and make a video. Add to the, the train of philosophy and philanthropy that's going to go on here. For me, it was a matter of uh, realizing, once I got to this point in the video and paused it, Finn went through distraction as well as the, uh, the hero's journey, he was distracted by the snowman made of stone, 
and built upside down, but with its face upright. I mean, upside right. Fucking words. He went through regression back to a more primal nature. Then he adjusted his viewpoint on his own personal reality. Then he matured after his regression and shedding his previous identity of self and going through the uh, the regression that that led into and they kind of crisscrossed over each other to be honest into maturity and then when he finally got back to the hall of egress <laughs> enter the exit it's a weird way of putting things he put it all into action drama Buzz off dust. And then the Princess Bubblegum's line, which uh, Elk translated into these words. For me, it's, it's a matter of converting universal or omniversal truth into words that our small minds can understand and that's a reference to the bulletproof monk hot dogs and buns that lesson why are my eyebrows itching what does that mean now I'm suspicious someone else watching me Besides you? Anyway. And the message I personally take away from the smallest transition of great abundance is at the center of everything and the, the cornucopia and the, the seashell reference and everything going into that. The uh, omniversal truth I gather from that. And from the rest of the video that he's got going on here. It's actually beautiful. The video and uh, the, the philosophy it represents to me. It's beautiful. I'd love it if everybody could see it the way I see it. But sadly, I can't live anyone's life for them. But for me, it's a matter of inversion. Introspection. The only way out is in. Intimacy is into me, I see. Seems counterintuitive, but uh, why do you turn left to go right when you're drifting, whether it's in an actual vehicle or a video game? Or you could reference the movie Cars. Or another quote from another TV show or movie. Sometimes, in order to go forwards, you have to go back. No, wait, wait. It was the Labyrinth with David Bowie. Sometimes, the path forwards is the way back. Because, like the main character in the Labyrinth, Finn went through a maze that was ever-changing. It was a journey of self-discovery. And for me, for my own personal journey, in order to grow outwards, in order to go forwards, I have to look behind me and see where I've been. Or, you know, for those of you who understand this reference. Ah, yes. The past can hurt. 
But the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. So, the door, the shell, and what was it? The hall? No. In order to unlock the true self, you have to go deep inward to the smallest point, the center of your being. You have to regress yourself, spiraling all the way in. You have to go all the way in. And just let the energy of yourself flow outwards from that. That's the smallest transition of great abundance. It's that small point at the core of your existence. Yeah, the smallest transition of great abundance is at the center of everything. What is the center of everything? Well, for the individual, everything they know is themselves. Their perception, their thought processes, how they see and view reality around them. It's the faculties of perception. The five basic crude and rudimentary senses of perception, such as touch, smell, taste, sight and sound. And the, the smallest transition of great abundance within the center of all of those sensory perceptions. You'd start and think, oh, it's, it's your mind. You, 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 that's what you use to perceive the world around you. You, well, you think with it. That's just a... Um, That's a conceptualized shell that you use. It's a construct, a shell, kind of like the seashell, that you build around yourself. It's not the core of who you are. It's, it's kind of like a snail carrying its house on its back. You build your shell outwards from the core of your own existence. Or like those spiral seashells. You start small. The smallest transition of great abundance is at the center of everything. It becomes a, a somewhat circular logic that just grows outwards. That's what the the mind is. That's your mentality, the way you perceive things around you in the crude sense. You've built up a means of uh, quantifying or putting into a, a certain way of ordering how you perceive things around you. And growing as an individual, you have to change that. You have to let that energy change. You have to realize, well, not you. I've had to realize again. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably have to re-realize this again, but in a different way. I've had to re-realize this. That the core of my existence, who I am... My true self, it isn't my ability to touch the world around me, or see it, or hear it, or smell it, or taste it, or think of it, and imagine the possibilities, and imagine different outcomes, and imagine a sentence of words structured together to convey meaning. The center of my existence is deep within me
it is the smallest transition of great abundance. It is the center of everything for me. It's not the spirit. That's the, that's the anatomy of your true self that grows outwards from your true self. Your true self is this teeny tiny spark of energy. That, that is true for everything in existence. The true self is this tiny spark of energy. And out from this tiny little light, smaller than a grain of sand, grows the conscious and self, grows the spirit, the soul, the mind, the body, all of the, all of the cornucopia of the, the seashell that grows around the spiral comes from this teeny tiny spark of energy, the true self. Or, you know, to throw in another reference from another movie, since when is a consciousness no longer a collection of knowledge and data but the bitterest moat of a soul sounds like a, a rise from uh, basic existence into a form of sentience and part of it is that you can view it that way but it's really deep I'm sure if I, I spent some time reviewing the video not reviewing but reviewing as in to view again I'm sure if I looked at it over and over I could write out my own script and give it to somebody to do a uh, a nice edited video to throw a different perspective into it but if I do that would it cheapen the experience of growth and self-discovery for someone else when you can view it from your own perspective and find your own true self and your own path I'd like to point out a famous actor actor, comedian, etc, etc philanthropist really all around crazy guy he's not my friend I don't know him personally I just know of him through his work ah, now I remember his name Jim Carrey he understands this he even did, uh, I think he did some YouTube videos, or not YouTube videos, I think he did something on stage that was recorded and then put onto a YouTube video where he was uh, giving a speech from, uh, oh, what was it, the Shaolin priest, monks, uh, Zen Buddhists, or some of, some of those... Uh, one of those Eastern philosophical spiritualist groups. I don't remember the exact one. He's talking about uh, the self as a car. 
it was pretty cool the way he put some omniversal truths into words that our small minds can understand there's a lot of different references I could go on about but my brain doesn't contain all the information sad enough to say that once you know a bunch of stuff you tend to forget other things because they're just you reach a, a cutoff point where you can't really put new information into the brain because it's full so in a In one way of saying it, my cup's full. I have to go and empty my cup. And yeah, that, that's a nice reference to a, a Jackie Chan quote from the Forbidden Kingdom. And to what uh, the main character, Jake Sully, was told in Avatar. Not the last airbender, but the other Avatar, directed by James Cameron. It's hard to fill a cup that's already full. So I have to go and empty my cup and then fill it up again. I think that's going to be my next adventure. My next egress or regression. Or my next drama. Or the next step of my journey of self. Well, philosophy meets philanthropy. Hopefully this information, from the ph philanthropist standpoint, will help someone, will inspire someone, or at least me referencing, you know, go and watch this video by this guy. I'll put the link in the description or in a... Uh, clickable link at the end of the video or something like that and then the philosophy greater wisdom <laughs> trying to translate it from omniversal truth into words that our small selves can understand till next time I think I've rambled on long enough I think I've waxed idiotic long enough. Toodles.